Hello everyone, so welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the simplest and easiest Halloween costume you can come up with if you literally have no idea what to be for Halloween and you're just like, you know what, I need something now. I need something that's going to take like five minutes to get ready. So here's what I'm going to show you. So if you can't tell already by the thumbnail slash title, this is going to be showing you how to make this like creepy kind of doll look. And most of these steps are going to be up for interpretation. You can change them to fit your style, whatever. But it's literally like the simplest, most basic thing you could ever do probably. You probably already have all the stuff anyways. So first step, you can choose to put on a foundation or a white face paint if that's what you choose for the sake of this video. I'm skipping that stuff because that step because I'm lazy. <laughs> And to be honest, I personally wouldn't wear it that way anyway, so I'm just going to skip that step. But if you want to do that step, feel free. So as you can see, I already have eyeliner on, so we're just going to like go out of order, I guess, in steps. But first actual step would be eyeshadow, and literally all I'm going to use is a black eyeshadow and a purple eyeshadow. So all you have to do is take your black eyeshadow and a fluffy blending brush. And what you're going to do is you're going to take some of this black and you're going to put it not in, on your crease line, but just a little bit above it. And since we're being creepy, it doesn't even have to be perfect. I'm so professional. I know guys, you don't, you don't have to tell me, I know. So yeah, like I said, just black all up in that crease to make your eyes look like they're more set back than they actually are. And then you're going to take that black again, and you're going to put it not on the the lash line, but like right under here, like right in... The only word I could think of is like the egg side, but like... I know like that's not what it is, but like... You know what I mean, like right here. Feel free to make faces while you're doing it. So the whole point is to make your eyes look more deep set. So now I'm just going to take a regular old eyeshadow brush and the purple. You can use whatever color you want. I just chose purple because it goes with my outfit. So you're going to really pack it on there. And then you're just going to really get that color up in there. You want to get like your rod drawers up in there. And then down here yes queen slaying my life am I right this is literally like my go-to Halloween look if I literally have no idea what I'm gonna be yet and I have like a Halloween party per se let's say you have a Halloween party but like you just still don't know what you want to be for Halloween creepy doll go to man go to Cause like I said, it's easy and you probably already have the stuff anyways. Alright, so the next step after this will be eyeliner, but as you see, I already did my top eyeliner, so I'm just going to skip to the bottom. So after you do your top eyeliner, I like to do my wing a little bit more dramatic than this. A little bit thicker and like longer, just like I said, to like make your eyes look bigger. But other than the that, you know, I'm just going to make it bigger anyways, it's perfect. Okay, so this is what you want to have. Oh, as you can see, I messed it up. But you know what? That's no big deal because this side's even more messed up. As you can see, I uh, got it all over my eyes. But, you know, you get the general point. As you can see, I went under my eye, my normal eyelid right there. And then connected it to the top wing to sort of make my eye one thing. So just ignore this mess. I'll try and fix it. Well, I'm a mess and uh, can't fix it. So please just ignore my disaster. Moving on from this, the next thing, really only all you have left to do with the eyes is you're going to add your white eyeliner. This is very important. You see what I like to do with my eyeliner since I am putting it in such a large space is I take it and just heat it up just a little bit. Not too much so that it burns your eyeballs off. And then smear it up in there. Hey, how are they going? You want to go all the way down to that new, that new line you made. 
like I said, ignore my disaster, but yeah. So then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Hey, how's it going? Just heat this bitch up a little bit. Get a little chunk, don't worry about it. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? I look like a mess. Don't listen to anything I say, to be honest. So once you're done, it'll look something like this. Like I said, this, just ignore this side. This one's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> hey, if you ever mess up, you could always just be a zombie or some shit. Alright, so since I'm a, just a, a disaster, we're just going to ignore this eyeball and just focus on this, this queen right here. You know what? Another good idea if you ever mess up, put an eye patch on. That'd be so dope. Like a doll with an eye patch. Like, hello. So then after the white is complete, you can apply a some false eyelashes, either top or top and bottom, with whatever your heart desires. And the next step, which is also very important, is your beautiful blush. You can use whatever brush you, you so choose. I just like to use this buffing brush because I think it stipples really well. So we're going to pop open this here blush. Get some of that up in there and just... It doesn't have to be good either. I mean, honestly, like your doll, like, who cares? Yep, just get all that in there. I have to do a little bit on my nose too. Just because I think it looks cuter. So yeah. Alright, so the last step is the lips. So what I like to do for doll lips is you're going to take whatever foundation you use. This is just the foundation I have. And you're going to put that over your lips. Powder down, yes, queen. <laughs> the whole idea is to make your lips disappear. All right, and then you take your red lipstick. I just distill a red lipstick. I really have whatever red lipstick you want. I mean, it'll work no matter what brand it is. And you don't want to draw just above your cupid's bow, like right here, just above it. And you're just going to connect it into like a heart shape. However big you would like it to be. And then what I have to do to make sure it's even is this. And then you just trace around that. And there's your lips. So you could just leave your makeup here or I like to add a little something just because like I said this is supposed to be a creepy doll. So you're going to take a wet paintbrush, like I said this is totally optional just if you happen to have it and get some, excuse my dirty water I was painting, don't mind me. And some watercolor or whatever paint, you can use fake blood if that's what you like. I'm just using this because this is just what I had on me. And you're just gonna like add some fake blood to yourself. This is a fun little thing to do. Like I said, this is also totally optional, but I think it looks really cool. You can add as much blood as you like. But I like a lot of blood in case you couldn't tell. Alright, so I actually have one more little extra creep factor that you can add if you so choose. So you're going to take your eyeliner and we're going to make some holes. So my favorite places to do them is here. Here. 
You can do one under your eye. You can do them wherever you want. This is just usually where I go. And I put one on my forehead usually. You can like make them like whatever shape, whatever that you want. So there's your completed doll look. Now I'm just gonna add the costume. So here it is with the wig, as you can see, I kind of just threw it on. And I usually put like some cute like little kid hair bows in to like pin the bangs over. As you can see, I probably covered my eye because I didn't put makeup on that side. I normally wouldn't do this, but, cause like, she, like the seat covers up the holes and stuff, but, and then I just put on this baby doll dress that I had. And it looked really cute with like knee socks or like the little, um, the socks that have like uh, the lace on the ankle or whatever. That would look cool. So yeah, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. I hope you do it in 70 pictures. My, um, Social media is in the description. I would love it. That would be awesome if you guys have any pictures of you recreating this look. Um, so yeah. I will see you in the next video. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye.